Hey everyone, so today we're going to be making another Astro Photography video, but unfortunately these days the weather has been not been too cooperative, so today we're going to be doing a quick uh, equipment update and actually an installation. I got my hands on some new filters. These are Chroma Sulfur Oxygen and Hydrogen 3 nanometer filters. Um, these are going to be replacing my current 7 nanometer filters. Definitely wanted to get these because the light pollution where I live is really bad and I, um, I think these would be really beneficial to um, me imaging these certain objects that emit these wavelengths of light. Um, so I am really excited to get working on these only when the skies clear up. So today we're just going to be doing a quick video on me install installing these filters and replacing uh, the 7 nanometer ones. And in another video, part 2 I guess, I will be doing a comparison between images between the 7 nanometer and these new 3 nanometer ones. Here is my filter wheel. I actually have the camera still connected to it. This is the ASI 1600 uh, monochrome. Um, this is a 7 position filter wheel. Um, you've seen this um, in my previous video I did probably about a year ago, a little, little less than a year ago. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be updating it with these. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here I have the filters, um, the filter wheel, and uh, my screwdriver that I'll use to unscrew these screws here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the camera first. Obviously, we don't need that. This is an ASI 1600. Pretty nice camera. Set this aside. Um, so here is uh, the filter wheel alone. Um, uses a USB A uh, to USB B uh, cable in order to communicate with the computer. And um, yeah, you can see the first filter in there. I don't exactly recall what filter that is, um, but it will say it around the outside of the ring, the metal ring. So let's go ahead and open this up. Make sure you don't lose any of these screws, set them aside. I did them on a darker surface um, so I could easily see the shiny, shiny screws. Alright, so we have removed all the screws and now we're going to go ahead and open this up. Um, here's the plate. So here is all my filters that I have currently. Um, so uh, there's one that's empty because I don't have a filter for that. There is a, um, a option for, I think, uh, a different wavelength. I'm, I don't exactly recall what it is, but it's not as um, important as oxygen, sulfur, and hydrogen. So um, as you can see, the first, uh, the first, so the first filter here, this is a luminous filter. It is a see-through, just a regular clear piece of glass uh, it's not anything special. It allows all wavelengths to uh, enter in and hit the sensor. Um, this one is red. Um, some angles it may look green, but it is red, so you can see the red. Um, so it goes L, R, and then this one's G, number three. This one's green. B is four for blue. Five is hydrogen alpha. Is these, this is what we're gonna be replacing these three today, five, six, and seven. So five is hydrogen alpha. Um, obviously there's a piece of hair on there. I do not want that. Uh, obviously we won't be using it. I'll put them safely back in their boxes, but um, seven nanometer hydrogen, oxygen, uh, seven nanometer oxygen and sulfur, also seven nanometers. So we're gonna remove these three here. So let's, let's, start, with, um, let's start with hydrogen. So we'll set this down really quick and let's look at the hydrogen. So it comes in this nice plastic case when you, uh, when you get it, focuses there. And, um, and it gives you a, a little pouch, paper pouch. It says um, chroma hydrogen, three nanometer. We're gonna go ahead and open this up really quick. So here is a three nanometer hydrogen alpha filter by Chroma. Let's see 
that right there. And let's go ahead and uh, replace it. So I'm gonna set this here. So luminance, red, green, blue, hydrogen. Let's go ahead and unscrew this. And it says, this is actually a ZWO filter um, that I got with my kit that I bought with my ASI 1600. Um, you can see that it's a 1.25 inch hydrogen alpha seven nanometer. So this is definitely a good upgrade. It'll fit right in here. This is the new one. All right, sweet. Now we got oxygen next. Let's put this away. All right, oxygen. Sulfur, this is uh, hydrogen, oxygen. This one is actually on the camera hole. Take a look at it from the other side once I get it in. Very nice. And lastly, sulfur. There we go. And before, obviously, before you put it in your telescope, you wanna make sure that um, there is no dust on it. As you can see, there are little dust specks and I'm gonna do a good cleaning before I start using these uh, because I do not want any, um, any dust in my pictures, obviously. No one does. So um, now that I obviously opened this up, I'll have to clean them either way, but yeah. Okay, so before we put the, this cover back on, I have a cleaning kit and we're gonna do a quick um, dust removal uh, for these filters before we put it on the telescope. Um, just cause like, when I start using it, I don't wanna end up taking it off again and cleaning it. So, um, I have a air sprayer. This is a uh, Pro Optic cleaning kit kind of funny. Um, I also have a, a, a lens cleaner too. It's good for lenses and stuff. And obviously a microfiber cloth as well. It's pretty nice. And then this is, uh, I'm not gonna use this, but I'm, there's also uh, a, a brush. It's kind of strange but uh, it's kind of like a, it removes like dust and other particles from delicate surfaces, but I'm not gonna use this because um, it might cause micro scratches and I do not want that. So I'm just gonna like quickly air off this, this filter, these filters. And that's so actually, that actually might not, that actually might be all you need to do today is clean off these filters here. So like, they already look way better just from doing that. It's the fact that we open it up and, and all the dust settles on it and stuff. Yeah, there's already dust on the other side of these two, so. There was literally dust when I took them out of the packaging that I never opened before. So I think it's a great idea that doing that. All right, let's go ahead and screw this stuff back on.
All right, we have successfully installed the filters and um, now we're gonna go ahead and install this on our telescope. Okay, so as you can see here, here's my telescope. Um, takes up most of the camera frame. Uh, it was very hard to, to position my camera in just the right way so I can show you. Um, I just wanted to set, I just wanted to um, set this up as kind of like an outro to the video too, uh, just because this is all I'm really gonna be showing you today. But next time, I'm definitely gonna be doing an image comparison between seven nanometer and three nanometer filters. It's gonna be pretty cool to see difference of images. Um, so here I have my filter wheel. I put the, I screwed the camera back on the back and now we are going to go ahead and screw it on. So as you, the, as you can see the telescope is positioned in a certain way um, in order for me to screw this on because it's really not worth putting this heavy thing onto the tripod or onto the, um, the Skywatcher mount just to screw this on. So what I usually do is I set it on the table. It's, set, it's sitting on this green thing right here. Um, so there's nothing really, anything being, have pressure on it or anything being, um, I guess like damaged. So I'd be like extra careful and all that just to make sure nothing gets damaged. So we're gonna go ahead and screw this on really quick. Okay, as you can see here, this, this will just screw on the back like this. And it doesn't hit, it barely hits this, but it doesn't touch the, the guide scope cam. So it actually does it pretty perfectly. So I just screw it on like this. Okay, I think that's all I have for you today, guys, for this video at least. Um, but the next couple weeks, if the weather clears up, I will be posting the comparison between the three and seven nanometer filter. Um, I'm really excited to see that. I'm really curious on how much detail I'm gonna get compared to two. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited for that. And of course, um, based on the light pollution here, um, it'll be really cool to see. If you made it this far into the video, thanks for watching up to here. Um, I really appreciate it. If you want to see more of what I do or um, be notified of when I post, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to see when I post to, uh, to get a notification when I post next. I want to thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.